I used to have a habit of reading the last page or two of any book I was reading, usually a fiction book, um, hoping that the character I was really invested in was still alive or still a part of the story, hoping that things tied up nicely, which is something I hope for in my life in fiction and movies. I like everything to be tied up neatly with a bow. Don't leave me wondering or guessing. A lot of times we do that with scripture. We go to scripture looking for a specific answer to a specific problem. Or we go to scripture flipping through the pages, hoping the spirit stops our finger on just the right verse or the right passage. We skip around. We look for the things that make us feel comfortable, that come neat and tidy and the story um, wraps up beautifully. What I would encourage you to do this week is something that's a little bit harder for me to do. Sit down and read an entire book. No skipping around, no picking a passage that works best for you in that moment, either what you need for God or an answer you're searching for, but just sit down with a book and read it completely. Count how many times in the Gospel of Mark the author tells us something happened immediately or right away. Marvel at Jesus' sermons in the Gospel of John. Read how the church came together in Acts or in Roman with the early church history chronicled there. See, we in the modern world like to tie things up neat and tight and have it all organized. But in the early church, and even when Jesus went to synagogue, um, when he was on earth, the reader of scripture that day would pull out the scroll and read a portion stop when it felt right, and put the scroll up. The next week, they'd pull the scroll out and pick up where they left off so that the story continued, that the text wasn't ever skipped over or jumbled or cherry-picked a little bit from this and a little bit from that. Nope, the story in its complete context, its complete width of what it was discussing, um, was shared. We do that in church though, right? We pick a couple of scriptures here for one Sunday and the next Sunday it's a different book or testament or a different pocket of scripture. Sometimes we read a certain amount of verses, skip some verses in the middle and pick up again. With this challenge or with this exercise, don't do that. Sit down in as few seatings as possible and read the whole book. Marvel at how Jesus shows up, how the Holy Spirit moves, at the moments maybe that aren't captured in that story. Read the verses we usually skip over because they make us uncomfortable. See how God shows up when you sit down, not so much looking for a beautiful conclusion, but sit down to see how God continues to show up and move and inspire and motivate and challenge us to trust through the whole story.